Hello Leo, welcome to your August 2023 reading. This reading may resonate with you if you have Leo placement in Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Leo, this is your season, so let's get right into it. August is bookended by two super moons. One already happened on August the 1st, and that was in Aquarius. The other one is coming up on August 31st, and that is a blue moon. That's where the expression once in a blue moon comes from. Lionsgate portal is open right now. It actually opened on the 26th of July. That's your portal, Leo. You are absolutely in your power right now. Like I said, it's your season. So on August 8, the, the energy will be at its peak as far as Lionsgate portal is concerned. As I already mentioned, sun is stationed in your sign will be moving into Virgo as of August 23rd. Mercury, the planet of communication, the planet of technology, innovation, transportation is currently in retrograde and so is Venus, which is the planet of love, luxury, stability, right? So let's see, with all these celestial events going on, how will the month of August play out for you? It is your season. All right. Spirit, can I get a few cards? Okay. So let's see. What do you have? Wow. Yep. I needed three cards and Spirit gave me three cards. So your first card is Involution. Involution. Am I saying this the right way? I actually don't know what that means. Involution. Huh, okay. So I guess I have to read this very intuitively. I don't think I know the word, which is very interesting. I never had this. I've never been stumped on a word, involution. Okay, and then you have makthuv, which I know what, me, what it means. And then you have know thyself. Okay, this is interesting. Let's start with know thyself because it's your season this is an amazing time for self-reflection i think that's that's what the word involution means right it's like a evolution involution okay this is interesting if you know the meaning of this word leave me a comment in the comment section so know thyself i'm not going to stop the reading because i think this word will mean something to you, even if I don't know the meaning of this right now. But I can still read this intuitively. Know thyself. With Mercury retrograde and Venus retrograde, you will have an opportunity to figure out a few things about yourself, your communication pattern, how you enter a room, how you present yourself, how you present your strength, your weaknesses, your vulnerability, how you show up in a relationship with Mercury being in retrograde. What is your relationship with yourself? That's what the Know Thyself card is. Makthuv is an interesting card for me. Makthuv is a very, very interesting card for me. You see, that's the sign of Venus. And then Maktuv is all about that feminine energy, right? The masculine and feminine energy. And Leo is such a fire, not such a fire sign. Leo is a fire sign and you are the feisty of all three fire signs, right? Aries and Sagittarius and you. So you are the leader. Of, not only are you the leader of the fire signs, but you are the leader of the zodiac wheel. And therefore you are drenched in masculinity. Maktu urges you to get in touch with your feminine side. And there's two feminine cards on the board right now. So femininity is all about knowing your own self, having a direct connection with the universe, intuition, ability to receive, not just to 
there's nothing wrong with being aggressive or aggressively charging towards something. And I don't mean the word aggressive in a violent way, right? Maybe that's not the right choice of word. There is nothing wrong with charging forward. But once in a while, you just have to be still and receive what the universe has to offer you. So these two cards are telling me that you need to get in touch with your feminine self. And you will get in touch with your feminine self. Because we have two super moons on either side of August. I think there are circumstances that you're going to face in in August, Leo, that will push you. Some of these circumstances could be tough. I'm wondering if that's what the involution is. Some of these circumstances are going to be tough, forced upon you to the point that you really have to go within to know yourself, to figure out how does Leo react in a situation like this? Some of these circumstances will require you to be diplomatic, will require, and that's again a very feminine energy, will require you to be diplomatic, to be calm, to stay graceful under pressure. Hmm, very interesting energy, very interesting. I feel like I'm almost feel like I'm reading for a water sign here, like Scorpio. Pisces or Cancer. I just finished Cancer's reading. Perhaps you have Cancer placement in your natal chart. Okay, let's continue. Let's move forward. So I'm going to take some tarot cards for your, so I will have three separate piles, one for your wealth, abundance, and career. So we'll see what's going on in that sector, then your health and love. And specifically, I'm focusing on romantic love. But, you know, it could apply to other kind of love. But my intention is more romantic. Okay. So let's start with your money, career, and abundance. Spirit, what can Leo expect? Queen of Pentacles. You're coming into money. Sudden windfall. All right. Let's keep going. Sudden windfall. You could be dealing with the Capricorn or a Virgo. Actually, you know what? There could be a sudden win windfall from a Virgo. All right, so let's leave it at that for now. Let's take a few more cards. Did you hear the alarm, alarm clock going off? That's my daughter's alarm clock. Hmm, I'm hearing wake-up call. You, you will have a wake-up call, and I, I felt it. Oh my God, this is so divinely guided. I felt it as soon as I sat down to do a reading. There's a wake-up call. I already said this to you, that you the, either there's a decision that will be forced upon you. And when I say forced upon you, I don't mean in a violent way. Okay. Page of Pentacles, Lovers, Eight of Cups. This is I'm still reading your career and Ten of Pentacles. Okay. All right. You're most likely... You will be given a choice either to walk away from a job, to head towards something new. You're either resigning from a job. You're walking away from definitely from a job situation, a career situation. And this, while you're walking away, you thought that what you're walking towards or what you're walking away with maybe a severance, what you're walking away with is very small, but in fact is the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. So what you thought will just give you a page of Pentacles is a small offering, right? You thought that what you're walking away from and what you're walking towards is going to be small, but unbeknownst to you, this is huge. The windfall is huge. The next Career move is huge. The severance is huge. Whatever the case may be. Maybe it's a settlement. Maybe it's a partnership dissolving. Whatever the case is, and there could be a Virgo involved, you are coming into some money. You are coming into some money. Okay, so that's your career. It's, it's a very clear reading as far as your career is concerned. All right. Let's talk about your health. What's going on? Because you're getting in touch with your feminine self. So I would like to know what's going on with your health, your emotional, your physical health. Spirit, what can we expect 
for Leo for the month of August. Sun, moon, rising in Venus. You have the king of wands. A lot of other signs got the king of wands. Hang on a second. So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, they all had this king. And probably in this position. So you have king of wands. King of wands is literally yours. Like that's you, right? Feisty and all that. So you have king of swords. King of wands and queen of swords. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. There's a lot going on in your... So you are in an environment, Leo, where you're facing a lot of opposition. And this, this will cause you... Remember, I already said this, right? I already called it that, you know, you may face some opposition. You may face... Or you may have to accept decisions or decisions, plural, made by others. You may be forced to do something. I'm seeing that with the king and queen of swords. In this case, it's very harsh. So this may cause some health issues for you, right? And the other part of it is king and queen of swords are very strong. Swords are strategy, swords are thoughts, right? Whereas wands is fire. Your movement may be restricted a little bit because you may feel like that your physical movement is literally restricted. There could be a small surgery as well, right? Because swords also associate with, you know, surgical equipment. Okay, your movement is going to be restricted. I'm hearing this over and over again. Physical movement mainly. All right, spirit, is there... Anything else, perhaps give us an indication whether Leo will recover fast or is there anything that we need to be worried about? No. So you have the Magician card, which is Gemini. And Gemini is, or Mercury, the ruler of Gemini, is in retrograde. So I can see discomfort with physical and emotional health, but Magician also talks about Magician also talks about quick turnaround, being able to... Magician is actually a good card because if your physical movement is restricted, then Magician card in this position tells me that you would be able to figure out a way to get out of this bind, whatever this bind is. It could be an emotional bind. It doesn't always have to be a physical one. So that's good news. Overall... You're coming into money. I don't care how much. You're coming into money. And you also f very quickly figuring out whatever your physical or emotional restriction is. You're coming out of that too. Okay, that's good. Now let's figure out what's happening when it comes to your relationship with a certain someone. This person could be your spouse, your lover, boyfriend girlfriend somebody that you have you're in a situation ship with a crush doesn't matter i'm keeping it very very open for you all right what can leo expect for the month of august 2023 you have the nine of swords anxiety sleepless nights for this person for the emperor aries are you dealing with an aries ace of swords you want to know the truth this person yeah you want to know the truth you have the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles you want to know the truth whether this person will come towards you and make an offer interesting because you feel like with the five of pentacles you feel like left out in the cold you have fear of this person moving on, fear of abandonment. This also talks about the feminine energy that I was talking about, right? Like you need to be in touch with your femininity, with the two of pentacles. There is a lot of back and forth in your head. Will he, will he not? Will she, will she not? Ten of swords. Oh, my God. Seven of Swords Tower is making an appearance again. 
Hmm. And after all of that, after all of that, the sun appears. The sun does appear. So here's the thing. And then you have the, oh yeah, the, the sun appears. So really what I'm seeing is when it comes to your love, you really have to know yourself. Moon is all about that intuition, the psyche, getting to know yourself. August will push you in ways that you're not comfortable with because you're not a grounded earth energy, right? You're a fire energy. You like to move fast. So I understand that it's going to be difficult for you to be static, to be grounded in one place and really get to know yourself. I also understand that it must be maddening for a fire sign to slow down and allow the universe to bring your object or subject of desire because you are a chaser. You like to go forth and charge forth. I get all of that, but your circumstances in, in August, albeit a bit uncomfortable at times, will absolutely force you to take inventory of your surroundings, of your physical, mental health. But overall, look at what I'm seeing. You're coming into money. You're recovering very quickly out of a health situation. And with your beloved, albeit you have to go through some push and pull. And in fact, I'm glad that you're going through that push and pull because you are now learning about yourself, about your own insecurities and some of the insecurities that you project onto others. Remember, that's that's the whole whole idea of the makthuv, right? That how do we show up in our feminine body? How do we show up in our feminine energy? Because there needs to be a balance between your masculinity and your femininity. And that will be the test. While Sun is stationed in your sign, with Mercury and Venus going retrograde, your communication, your love language, how you show up in a relationship, how you project yourself and take on somebody else's projection is what will get sorted out. I am so happy that this is happening. Because with these two full moons, you'll finally let go of all the other baggages that you've been carrying around. Fantastic. If you ask me, I'm so glad this is finally happening. Because with the Leo, it's very difficult to have those moments of silence and groundedness so that transformation can happen. All right. Let's get one final message for you, Leo, right, from Spirit. What else can we Spirit, what else can we share? What else can I share with my Leo Collective for August? What, something flipped? Did something flip? Four of Wands. Look at that, Leo. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Look at that. Okay. As I'm saying, look at that. Look at, oh, wow. The Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. Four of Wands is the quintessential Twin Flame card. Some of you could be Twin Flames, but this is not a Twin Flame reading. So let me keep this as broad as possible. Four of Wands is all about stability. Four of Wands is all about, you know, what I've been saying all along is being grounded. It's about security, security of home, security of money, security of health. And all of this will come to you. Spirit is saying this over and over again. For you not to worry because the will of fortune right and the ace of swords with the three of wands okay look at all of these cards you're cutting the devil away look let me start there you're cutting these are all coming from the bottom of the deck you're cutting this toxic behavior toxic person it could be you know, that's what knowing yourself is. The devil within you has to go before the devil outside of you will go, right? So you're cutting that relationship. So your present time, in your present time, like right now, you're moving away. You're moving away 
from anxiety, toxicity, this constant need to chase, this constant need to be something or someone that you're not, the three of wands, the constant you know, anticipation of what will happen, the constant worry of what will happen, you're finding the clarity of who you are, of who you are. And in that clarity, and in that moment, in this present moment, you are actually feeling secure. You're going to ground yourself. And as you do that, again, with the will of fortune, you will come into money. You'll come into better health. You will make sure your relationship is stable. And I, for some of you, I do see, because four of wands is the halfway way, halfway to marriage card. For some of you, I see engagement on the horizon. I do. I do see. And for some of you, I see marriage in, in let's say, four months. I'm calling it. I am calling it, Leo. All right. This is your reading, Leo. If this resonates with you, please leave me a like and a comment. If this is your first time on this channel, I want you to subscribe. Make sure that you check out the Leo playlist that I've put together for you. And I do have other playlists, but specifically for you, there is a playlist. So check it out. And then do come back in September. I took a little bit of a break. For those of you who've been with me for a while, I took a little bit of a break, but I'm back now and I'm, I have started to do long format tarot readings again. So I will continue to do so. My darling, August is such a fantastic month. It is your month. It is your month. Take care. Bye now.